at you live at about 4.40 a.m. the morning of my baby shower. Because who needs a good night's sleep before a big event? I've been sleeping really good lately still for the most part. Waking up a few times in the middle of the night, but I kind of figured this would happen because there's just a lot on my mind with the baby shower. Just random last minute things that I don't want to forget. And so I'd wake up in the middle of the night and go in my notes app and add stuff to my list, which I tried really hard to be super prepared and not have to do that, but it never fails. There's always a few miscellaneous things that you have to add at the last minute that you might forget otherwise. <laughs> That's okay, now I can have a super slow morning. I don't have to be anywhere until 9.30. So we have almost five hours. <laughs> But hi, Goosey, come here. Lay down. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for today. I just, like I said, anxious. One, because I'm an anxious person. And two, just anxious to get there and get everything set up and see what it looks like because I've been having a hard time with the vision. And so, of just what I want things to look like. And then we've been worrying about the weather a little bit because originally it was going to be in this really pretty outdoor garden, but then the weather kept getting cooler and cooler and cooler. And I'm just worried that it's not going to be warm enough, just on the like edge of being warm enough. But it doesn't really matter. I'm just happy to be with friends and family today and celebrate baby girl. And I can't believe the time is finally here. And it's just... So weird to think that she's coming in a few weeks, but I'm going to drink my Earl Grey tea and then this is very necessary for today. I forgot to say I also went to bed at around midnight, which is so late for me. I think I ended my last vlog by saying family was in town the night before, so I went over to my parents' house and we all hung out for a while and I played a few games of euchre with my grandma who loves loves euchre so just ended up being a late night but it was very fun i am gonna enjoy my quiet relaxing morning honestly a blessing even though i was gonna wake up early anyway but not this early <laughs> since the baby shower and it was so much fun. I was exhausted after. It took me a few days to just come down. I was telling one of my friends, it literally felt like the morning of my wedding, which I know is so silly, but for some reason, I don't know, having events put on for me, this was technically for the baby, but I mean, I'm carrying her, so it was for me too. Something about having the reason people are coming to an, an event be because of you is just, it makes me a little anxious, but I'm so appreciative of everybody who came and it just went by so fast. I wish I would have gotten a few more clips of like us setting up and stuff. We went there pretty early to set up and I really, Loved the way the centerpieces turned out. We did a mixture of pastel, green, orange pumpkins, and we had doilies and old like vintage hankies that we layered underneath, some old books, bud vases with flowers, candlesticks, and a few just other things to put in the center of the tables. And it just, I think it turned out really cute, but I didn't get a single picture or video clip of it. But that's okay, because that just means that I was focused and I was in the moment. And that's probably a good thing. So, but I'm thankful for the pictures that I did get. 
And yeah, it was just so much fun. And it's, I just can't believe that the baby shower is checked off the list. And now we are just kind of focusing on nesting and finishing the nursery, getting all the clothes organized, figuring out what we still maybe need. I, I got so much stuff at the baby shower. I don't think I need anything else really right now, but yeah, just really, really thankful and happy with how everything turned out. But that was the baby shower. And now we're trying to get back into the swing of things with work and just day-to-day -day life. But one of my friends did just text me and say she was hosting a little bonfire game night tonight. And that sounds really fun. And I need to take advantage of being able just to say yes at the last minute to doing things like that before the baby comes. And so I am planning on going to that tonight and it's gonna be just fun hanging out with a small group of friends, but I don't wanna come empty handed. So I am gonna make more of that harvest bread, which I know I showed a ton of clips in my last vlog of me making that bread. So I won't bore you again with the whole process, but it's been on my list anyway to make some more of this bread for home. So I'm gonna make a loaf for us and then a loaf to bring over for later. And I can't wait for the house to smell like homemade fresh bread. It's so good. And it is officially just such good fall weather. Low 50s, crisp, cool. I went for a walk this morning with Millie and my mom and it had just rained last night. So there were little puddles of rain and leaves were falling. I had on my winter coat because it was really cold this morning. And this is just the best time of year. I get to wear a sweater inside. I had to turn the heat on in the house because it got down to like 62 degrees in here. <laughs> so just really thriving in this weather and trying to soak up every second of it because October goes by so fast. It's already October 15th. How are we halfway through October? That's just how it goes. And all the good months just go by so quick and you really have to make sure that you're present and in the moment. And that's what I'm trying to do. But anyways, let's start making some bread. on prepping diaper bags so I'm planning on having two one that I just always keep in the car that doesn't have everything but just has the essentials and then I have my main diaper bag that I'll just bring with me probably like a purse but again <laughs> do I know what I'm doing no we're just trying to be as prepared as possible so I'm just working on filling up these bags with diapers and clothes and bottles and just things that might be helpful. And then once she's here and as I'm actually going through the daily routine, I can figure out what is helpful and what is not. And so just trying to be a little bit more prepared. But after this, I think I'll start slowly packing my hospital bag because my OB wants my bag packed at our next appointment, which is next week. So I still have a little time, but I figure maybe just start getting ahead of it while I have some time on my hands. So just trying to check some of these things off my list because for a long time, I felt like I couldn't do any of this, like it was too soon, but now it's to the point where <laughs> it's time to start just checking these things off 
the list and it feels good to just be a little bit more organized especially now that the baby shower is done and i've washed everything i need to sanitize all the bottles and pacifiers and stuff like that which i'll do probably next week or something but it just feels good to start getting things organized and it puts me a little bit more at ease so just prepping 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 a little ice cream cone onesie very on brand for me <laughs> love ice cream this might be one that I put in the diaper bag I guess I should have let's see this is a zero to three months I guess I should have a three to six month too just in case I know they grow so fast and it's hard to know even when she's born what she's gonna fit into right away So many things that you just don't know. You don't know until she's here. It's crazy. And some of these clothes that I got for the baby shower, they're so cute and it just makes me sad already thinking about her growing out of these things just so fast. Today we have a spooky video shoot to do and so I'm going to take you along behind the scenes because I feel like it's been a minute since I've done a behind the scenes shoot and this one is very festive so I thought it'd be fun to show you all of the little spooky things that I got for this shoot and it's a charcuterie board which is always the best. They're my favorite. You can get so creative and they're just so fun and then you get to eat the charcuterie board which who doesn't love a good spread and so i'm doing a mix of sweet and savory and i will just show you some of the things that i've got some spooky cream filled cookies dark chocolate covered mini pretzels i thought these were so cute little candy corn marshmallows and then i also found these sour candy corn gummies some creepy eyeballs you gotta have the ghost peeps I'm a peep lover, I don't know about you, but for some reason I've always loved a sugary, sugary peep. Some dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Lots of different crackers. I kind of went overboard on the crackers, I didn't even realize. Um, this video is for chomps, so of course we have to include some chomps. And then some creepy looking olives and mini pickles. And then of course I have a ton of cheese and meat in the fridge. Uh, I really wanted this board to be kind of dark and spooky, like I said, so I'm gonna do, <sighs> sorry, <laughs> talking too much. I'm gonna do a dark gray, smoky backdrop, and then I have like a chalkboard type charcuterie board. I don't know how else to describe it or what the correct term is, but it's like a black, rough board. And then I wanted the color scheme to be a lot of oranges, green, and then dark colors like the dark chocolate items. And then I have some dark purple Concord grapes, blackberries, stuff like that. And I think, I think it'll be fun. And then I'll throw in some pumpkins, some fake spiders. I have a skeleton hand, a little creepy hands. I have another one too, yeah. And like a fake spider web, stuff like that, so. Oh, and eyes. I'm gonna put some creepy eyes on like the cheese and stuff. I'm super into Halloween this year. I don't know what that's all about. Usually I'm not as into it, but this year we're embracing it and gonna have fun with it. 